To top all the filming experiences thus far, on the 7th and 8th of August, Anand and Madura Katti, two travel and food writers from Bombay, came to Kinnal to make a documentation about the project and our integration into Indian culture. At first we thought they may be similar to the other film crews and reporters, coming with a simple camcorder for a few hours and that's it. But on the contrary, on the morning of the 8th of August, a large film crew with photographers and proper equipment appeared in front of our house. Luckily Anand had spoken to us the day before and told us a rough plan of what's gonna happen. Nevertheless, the big proper cameras and floodlights with polystyrene boards sort of made a difference and caused some uncertainty. Some of us dealt with it better than others and were less nervous in front of the cameras, but in the course of the day very many funny things had been said during the interviews. Anyway, the filming started off with a pretended breakfast. A second breakfast, making porridge, over which we would naturally talk about the life in Kinal and about little details, for example, where we are getting our milk from in the morning. Some other Kinal scenes followed, walking up and down the street, doing some rangoli, getting dressed in saris. Anyway, we also had to reenact the inaugural ceremony, although the second one was nothing like the real one, but we got in garlands. Then the workshop filming followed, for which all windows were closed up, because they wanted to use their floodlights, but it also transformed the room into a sticky sauna. And many interviews and many scenes of pretending work and discussions followed. We also encountered technical problems, like a power cut and, I don't know, maybe speechlessness during interviews also counts as a technical problem, I don't know. To round off the day, final captures were taken, for example us kaling with the local kids and playing grandmother's footsteps with them. We actually got a chance to see the final outcome of the documentation on our last day in Bangalore, and it's pretty funny although slightly worrying that by now quite a few important Indian people have seen it. Lee Schmidt Soltau, an art student at Glasgow University in the United Kingdom, is crafting a tradition.